Bob Lazar on the difference between Omicron and Delta configuration for UFO crafts. Examples released 19 years later. There's what they call Omicron configuration, where the craft is using one generator, uh, or Delta configuration, where it's use, utilizing all three. Delta configuration would be for space travel. Essentially, the craft will tilt up on its side, focus the three gravity generators to a single point, and move through space that way. If you were going to see one of these crafts at night operating, it would appear really as a glowing ball or uh, just a bright light in the sky from a distance. Uh, even close up, you know, you'd see a, a glowing halo around it. What you're dealing with is a high energy source in essentially a gas atmosphere, oxygen, nitrogen. And uh, when you apply enough energy to a gas molecule, they emit photons, they emit light. Background and information, it wasn't a story I could do then. We're negotiating about how or when or if I could ever use that information or make it public. He told me the details about this craft. He said that they, he says they worked on this recovered craft, reverse engineering, trying to figure out how it worked, who built it. Um, another meeting at a coffee shop and I said, well, gosh, you know, aren't you worried that it would get out, that the word would get out? And he says to me, we were worried it would get out. That's right. I mean, what it, what do you mean it, it? meaning a live being. They had a live being out there. I go, what? you had a live being, an alien? As well, tell you the truth, we didn't know what it was. I said, you know, maybe it came from millions of miles away out in space and you're keeping it in a cage uh, near Area 51. He said, to tell you the truth, we couldn't communicate with it in the beginning. We didn't know what it was. We didn't know where it was from. Um, and we didn't know what to do with it. 